hi guys so uh in this tutorial i'm going to demonstrate how to add the auto update feature in your dotnet application using the clip click once feature and uh, like everywhere you find people will host their application on the cloud and that's a paid service so i'm going to show you how to do it using github and host it using github so like i've created a repository the link is in the description and let's get started so the first step is to like make a github repository so let's do that so this is this is already a github repository now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just clone it to my pc and now i'm going to create a new visual studio project so create a new project yeah so windows uh, windows forms so we have an option of windows forms app and windows forms on the dot net the, the dot net is an older version so we are going to go with the newer one uh, this method works for both the versions so let's keep the name as Style app, and I'm going to the location same. Let's go over there. Like five. So that's done. Now I'm going to quickly I'm going to quickly add some things to this. How about a box? Find text box and So I'm get version one. Yeah. So this is my application. Now I'm gonna save it. Now I'm gonna follow the next step. That is, yeah. So now we need to create this folder called published and. There, uh, there, we need to now go to the repository to the trial app. Now here, new folder, publish. Inside this publish, we are going to create a new file called as git attribute. Dot git attribute. Here, I'm going to copy paste whatever is there in the repository. That's done. Save it. So we're gonna add post control to this. Yeah. So it detected the the box. The first comment. And we're gonna push. So that's done. Let's check our repository. Yeah, so we get the published folder. Now we are going to copy the address of this published folder going inside git attribute raw. Copy the link. No, just remember to remove this last part. The next step 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 four is done. Step five. Now we gonna publish the app using click once. So here 
right click publish select click once so the location for this should be your published folder so should be Uh, this should be from a website so we're gonna copy the link which was here this should be. so here we can then for safety add this and i'm gonna quickly add a desktop shortcut for this so these are the files which will be created so I'm not going to sign this for now. Finish. So this is done. Let's go ahead and check. just check this. The published location is the location the, uh, the location on your hard disk where the setup will be published. The install location is from where the installer will search for the files to be installed for, and the update location is where it will check for updates. So our updates are enabled over here. So let's go ahead and publish. App is getting published. Yeah, so this is published. So we can see over here we have all these files. So this this is the setup file and this is the published.html file which basically opens the installer. Now what we are going to do, what we are going to do is basically we are going to follow the next step and commit and publish. Oh, we are going to yeah. So let's commit initial post. Now we can go here and run the setup. This setup basically will search for the files in draw, like it will search for the files in GitHub and it will install the application. So it's downloading. So this is our application. Yeah. So now what if we want to update it? So like I was talking about the desktop shortcut. The desktop sh shortcut is created over here this so now if you want to make changes to your application and your client has to install it so how do you do that so like suppose let's change this to version 2 now you want to push this so before committing you just have to go here and publish again so your profile is already created you just have to publish again to the same location and to check if this newer version has been pushed pro has been published properly, you can go here application files and yeah. So this is the 1.0.0.0 is the earlier version, and this version at 2.24 is the 1.0.0.1 version which we have published currently. So now for this update to be available to others, we have to push these changes to a repository. So update commit. Commit this. Push. Yeah. Done. Now, this application. Uh, it takes a little time, sometimes, for the setup. So we got the new app over here. takes around 10 to 15 seconds for this pop up to come when you open the file so let's start okay update 
what a version 2 over here so that's it this is how you do it thank you now finally i want to demonstrate how to do the entire installation and setup on another pc so here i have connected to another laptop and i have opened this github repository note that for this to work the github repository has to be public otherwise it won't work now you can go to the published folder go to the setup file and then download this file ask for the permissions the setup file will load the application from this github repository yeah let's call and it installs the latest version which is available in the github repository so now let's try pushing an update so let's try creating a new text box yeah i'll just name it as remote test save don't forget to publish publish to the same folder publish takes a little time because it builds the entire application so yeah here you can see that version 1.0.0.2 has been released so let's add remote test let's push it now this should have created a desktop shortcut let's wait for like 10 seconds yeah now let's run this yeah update available okay downloads remote test let's do it for a local pc it available okay So this is how hosting on GitHub works. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you again. Thank you.